Hi folks, Champagne Friday. Look at this. Similar to some other things you've seen before, the Pinot Noir Color of Boulanger, the new one that you've seen in PN and in VVF, something new or old, depends on how you look upon it. Uh, La Côte aux Enfants, 2012. What is that? Red wine, isn't it? Yes, historically, that's exactly the case. The first vintage made from this single plot in IE was 1934. And in 1926 to 34, Jacques Boulanger bought vineyards from the growers who owned this parcel of four hectares in a similar way as people have been trying to do with Claude de Vaucheau or Richebourg, etc. In, in Burgundy, to obtain some of the best lands of Pinot Noir in the world. And what Boulanger did with that was for many, many years, they made a red wine, Coteau Champagnoise, Aïe Rouge, good, but in my opinion, never really, really great. It's been the most famous of all red wines in Champagne. I always think there is one or two producers who makes a better one, but always very good, very um, refined Pinot Noir characteristics, but probably not the intensity of a great Burgundy, in my opinion. But each time I said, why don't you make a Blonde Noir from that plot? And in 2012, it became a reality. And in Champagne, everything is about time and patience. And they didn't mention for anyone that made this wine until the release today. Ten years later, the same kind of vinification, the same place, the same oak barrels as they have for all the vintage wines and next to Vieille Vigne Francaise, they make this one. One of the reasons was probably because they knew there's always a threat every year that the VVF might be extinct because if Phylloxera enters the vineyard, it will no longer be any champagne from there. So since 2012, Almost every year they made, or they made every year, and, but they're not sure if they're going to release it, 1,000 bottles from the west side, northwest side of this four hectare big vineyard. And they make 1,000 bottles from two hectares and replanted in approximately 20 years ago with a Selection Massal from Burgundy. So it's very much a red burgundy in the form of a beautiful champagne. When I put down my nose in this, I, I had a Zoom meeting before anyone else to taste this pre-launch champagne with uh, Dany and Guy. Uh, I was not at all surprised. It was more a confirmation of all the things I thought about this wine. Because what did I find? I found the old style Boulanger, which you could find 30, 40 years ago with a 10 year old Grand Danet, which it was called at the time, but with slightly stronger intensity, but the major aromas were all there. The very strong hazelnutty complexity, the richness of the barrels. So the, the impact of the barrels are stronger than you get in the La Grand Danet. Uh, the richness of one thing that many people consider something always bad, I think is a very important thing. And the day when we don't find any mushrooms, any pure mushrooms in a bottle of Bollinger, it's no longer a Bolli. So, here it was, in abundance, huge, pure aroma of the freshest porcinis and the Champignon de Paris those kind of fresh white and all, also with a little bit of brown notes of the mushrooms. Clean with a slight hint of uh, butter, of course. Uh, the hazelnuts, purer than ever. Not as oily and rich as the VFM Francaise. Not as concentrated as that one, but 
even stronger terroir, i.e., with an intensity of freshness coming directly from the very thin layers of uh, soil and the pure minerality of IE. And to get the balance between this extreme freshness in such a low yielding mature wine made in this oak barrels, long aging, um, etc. That's the tricky part. Am I impressed? Incredibly so. So, cheers and uh, try to get every bottle you can find. Thousand bottles, I get two. This is one and I will keep the other one for a long time. You can read about my tasting notes fully in Champagne Club. Cheers. <laughs>